Hello, Mo Shape members. Welcome to our special edition of the Mo Shape Minute. My name is Chris Daly, board member and your host of the weekly Mo Shape Minute. I have some very exciting news to share with you first and foremost. Mo Shape Minute and all of our Mo Shape events are now sponsored by Heart Zones. So that is a huge deal for us. And we want to thank Heart Zones for the sponsorship. And we are looking forward to working with you in the future. As you can see, I have a special guest with me today, which makes this show over the top, so to speak. I am joined by Mo Desi's Teacher of the Year, Darian Cockrell. DC, thank you for joining the show today. It's an honor to have you on the show. Thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank you. So you have recently been named Missouri's Department of Elementary and Secondary Education Teacher of the Year. So for our viewers, that means Darian won the award for K through 12, regardless of content, Teacher of the Year. So DC, you know, it's a big honor and you represent PE teachers all over the state of Missouri and all over the country. You're a most shaped member, which makes us super proud. And first and foremost, kind of explain to the audience why you chose PE and what drives you when it comes to PE. Uh, so initially going into college, um, I wanted to be an art teacher. People don't know that, but yes, I wanted to be an art teacher. Art is my first love. But after meeting with my advisors a few times and they were asking me about my portfolio, portfolio that I needed for art, and I, I explained to them that I didn't know what that was and I didn't have that. They told me, that you need to pick something else because you don't have the stuff necessary to be an art teacher. So that fell by the wayside. And, you know, after going through football practice and football season a little bit and taking a lot of my prereqs, uh, I kind of refocused and I realized that, you know, I wanted to do something else that I was passionate about and that's fitness and health with students and kids. So I decided to be a PE teacher. Yeah. And, you know, we, I've talked to many people about you that know you, we have a lot of friends in common. And one thing everybody has attest to about you is you take PE and you're super passionate about it and you're passionate about the kids. Like you just mentioned, I think that's what kind of puts you over the top, so to speak, is you are always putting your kids first and, you know, you and I talked a little bit, uh, prior to this interview about, you know, some of the things you grew up with and you've always wanted to be that role model for the kids that, you know, your PE teacher provided and some other people, which I'm sure you'll mention on the show today with one of our future questions. So with that being said, DC, this is obviously a huge honor as a physical educator and just in life as, in general. So kind of explain to the audience what this award means to you as a person. Uh, you know, I think for anyone to win this award, it's it's huge. But I think the fact that me as a PE teacher that I won this award, it really shows that, you know, physical education is just as important as some of the other classes like science, math, you know, social studies. Uh, I was explaining to my kids, it really doesn't matter what you want to do in life, but without a healthy heart, you know, without the healthy mindset, it's not going to allow you to do those things you want to do. So, you know, mind, body, everything, all that stuff you learn in PE and without that, it's going to be hard for you to be successful. So I think just recognizing that a PE teacher is just as important as everyone else is huge for people in our content area. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we focus on the whole body. You and I have talked about that, the not only the physical health, but the mental, social, and emotional Absolutely. health, that SEL learning and stuff like that. And right now with COVID times, you know, we hear about all kinds of districts all over the country that uh, are getting rid of specials or lessening the amount of specials, cutting PE programs. And I think right now we could see what you are doing for your students and winning this award. Physical education is just as important, like you said, as everything else. And the kids, the kids need it. I mean, we talked a little bit before the show of without physical education, a lot of kids are going to struggle, not just physically, but it's, it's, as you said, it's a way, a, a chance for them to get away. It's some of their happy places. You said you have some memories when certain songs click on. You remember, hey, I remember listening to that in PE and the kids, the kids need that. So I think that is a huge thing. You win in this award, not only for yourself, but for advocacy for physical education teachers all over, Absolutely. not only the state of Missouri, but all over the country and even all over the world nowadays. So DC, you are a very humble guy. And so I know you have some people you want to thank. You, you, you are not one of those people that like to take all the credit. So before we get out of here, is there anybody you want to shout out, uh, thank for your journey to where you are today? Uh, you know, there's definitely a lot of people I would like to thank. Uh, I can't thank everyone because we don't have enough time. But uh, for those who did, you know, really have uh, a lot of support and a huge impact on my life. One person was my counselor for middle school. Her name was Mrs. Hunnicky. You know, she definitely was uh, the person that kind of helped guide my life into the right way. I had a lot of stuff going on when I was in middle school, and, you know, she did a lot of things for me, and even 
to the point where she became my guardian of the state and kind of helped me be the person I am today. Um, I can't, you know, say anything without thanking Doc because he's the one that passed me. <laughs> Thursdays I came to class, I know Doc was like, I don't know what this kid's gonna do in life, but he's not gonna be a PE teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm extremely happy that, you know, I made him proud and I, you know, kind of got my stuff together and graduated. And uh, I definitely gotta thank my sister, uh, Megan Stokovich. You know, she helped me build my program at Crestwood for five years. And, you know, I could not accept this award without acknowledging her because without her, her support, her ideas, and, you know, her, her patience and the stuff she taught me, I would have never won this award. So I definitely gotta give Megan Stokovich a shout out. So something I've noticed about you, DC, is you've got a lot of role models in your life and you turn the tables and you're a role model for a lot of kids. We've talked before and you've said, you know, I want to be the Doc Lowry for some of my students. Like when they feel like, you know, they can't do it, he pushed you to achieve and he was patient with you. And I think that's a big thing in education today, especially with yeah. Some teachers doing virtual, some doing face-to-face -face with restrictions, and even some doing the hybrid is being patient with kids and, you know, still being that positive role model, whether it's face-to-face -face or through a computer screen. And I think that is something that is very commendable about you is you've always put your kids first and you've learned that from some very positive role models in your life because you've mentioned, you know, there's there's been times growing up where you needed that, you know, extra support and you found people that provided it for you. And teachers, a lot of times, they, they realize, but they may not fully see the whole picture that they are more than just a teacher to a lot of kids. We, we, yeah. we go out and there's some kids that see their teachers more hours in the day than they do their own parents or their own family members or whatever their home situation is. So you and all kinds of teachers all over the world are that that you know that crutch for them that person they can lean to and i think that's very commendable about you and uh you know it's funny because i gotta bring this up not to put you on the spot but we've <laughs> talked before and you said you wanted to break that award in half to help your uh friend out there in your district because she helped you build that program and stuff like that but there's also another person you shouted out and i gotta give her a shout out because we her and i work hand to hand at most shape but she's our let me shout shout her out let me shout you her want out. To sh go ahead and shout her I out. Want to shout out i gotta give a shout out to mary dream meyer um for those of you who don't know you know pe and health sapita elementary school you know she's huge with most shape she is a rock star her, her ideas you know the way she can use technology to, like transform her classrooms i don't know why she's not teacher of the year i get a lot of my stuff from her she is amazing and i would not be the teacher i am if i wouldn't have have, have her ideas or support and if I didn't have her as a mentor, Mary Dreemeyer is amazing. I love that lady to death. And uh, thank you for everything that you've done, not only for us, but for most shapes and everyone else in Lindbergh School District. Yeah, and DC, I, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. It's This has been a huge honor. I mean, it's like kind of like looking at a celebrity through the screen, so to speak. You know, a lot of teachers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see the jerseys back there, so I'm wondering when I'm going to get a signed DC jersey. But, uh, but um, no, you know, it, it, even as a, a, a colleague, you know, and just a, a board member at Most Shape, you know, I'm still a physical educator, and a lot of physical educators are going to watch this. And, you know, we aspire to do what you're doing, you know, just to, to show that we are important, and you've done that. And us at Mo Shape and not even just Mo Shape, people all over are proud of you. And your journey is obviously not over. I know you, you're not going to sit there and throw in the towel and say, hey, I, yeah, I'm teacher of the year, man. I, I'm, I'm good. I know you, you're going to continue to do great things. And you give credit to Mary, but I, I've told you this, I've seen some of your, some of your videos you've done with your kids and stuff. And you, you've got some pretty creative stuff up your sleeve too. So don't, take some credit for that as well. Mary. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. And DC, like I said, thanks for joining. It's been an honor uh, for you members watching. If you did not get to see Spaker Spot's show yesterday, please check that out. The Spaker Spot girls are releasing a lot of great content of different cardio activities and things you could do while social distancing. Later on today at 4.30, Guy Danhoff and Lauren Krebs are back with their Zagging 101. And that is going to feature our Shape America CEO, Stephanie Morris, as they give tips of how to promote advocacy through social media. So you're not going to want to miss that. Stephanie is a phenomenal person, and she's going to give a lot of great, great ideas. 
And then Friday, we are back with our executive edition of the Most Shape Minute at 3 p.m. That is going to feature our executive director, Dr. Tom Lowry, who DC shouted out earlier, his former yeah. uh, professor in college. So you're not going to want to miss that because when the Mo Desi Teacher of the Year shouts them out, you know it's going to be good. <laughs> And then our Mo Shape Minute will be back to normal programming time next week on Monday at 3 p.m. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and have a great rest of your week.